Hi! So I get a lot of questions about uh, what I use on my face as far as skincare and makeup and I thought I would just start by making a video of um, this one will just be solely about skincare. So I didn't think that I use a lot of product until I put it all together for this video and I found out that I really do. So I'm just going to kind of go over what I do in the morning and what I do in the evening as far as skincare and a couple other things added in. So I think, first of all, that the number one thing to having good makeup is having good skin because if you, you need that good foundation and you can only cover up so much, you know, zits here and there and, um, you know, scars and things like that you can cover up. Uh, but if you just take care of your skin and drink a lot of water and eat healthy and do good regimens in morning and in night, then you'll have a lot more success, I think, when it comes to makeup. So with that, I actually use a lot of stuff. So I'll start by, in the morning when I wake up, I use Purity. This is from Philosophy, and I get mine at either Sephora or Ulta. Uh, they sell it, I think they sell it at Macy's now. I'm not sure. But I like this because it's very gentle, um, and I, I can use it every day. I have never had a reaction to it. It's good for a lot of skin types. It's just really a cleanser just to clean the top surface of the face and just to give you a good wash to get off anything that may have come. And I use it in the morning because it's so gentle and after I've been sleeping, I mean, there's not hopefully that much on my skin so I don't need anything too crazy to wash away any of the that stuff. So I use this in the morning right when I wake up. I dry it and I use, okay, this lotion I get from Germany from past exchange students I've had and you can't get it here. Um, and I just thought I'd mention it because I wanted to be honest of what I actually use. And I can't even read it because it's in German, but it's this uh, moisturizer right here. And I love it because my skin is so dry. Like, my skin is so dry in the winter, I feel like it almost will, like, flake. Because, like, on my nose and on my cheeks, it'll flake because it's so, it's that dry. Um, if you don't have that, you can use stuff... I actually used to love Pond's Lotion and um, Oil of Olay and Neutrogena, even like drugstore brands. If you don't want to do um, like Dermalogica or Philosophy, those are two of my favorites, um, you can do those too. Um, so that's all I do in the morning. I'll sometimes, okay, if I'm wearing makeup, I use MAC Fix Plus um, because I just feel like it, it just, I don't know, there's ingredients in it that just make it feel like my makeup sticks better, but... I mean, it, that might not be true, but if not, I use this toner right here. I use it as a toner. It's not actually a toner, but it's this Burt's Bees Rose Water Toner. I guess it's just a toner. Huh. Well, I love it because it's the rose water is so calming, and if I ever have redness or anything, um, I just spray it on my face actually before my moisturizer, and I, I don't know. I love the smell. I love the feeling. I love what it does to my skin. It's very calming. My skin can be kind of reactive, like... If I touch it a lot or if I scratch it, it'll be red in that spot for a long time. I don't know why. It just always has been. And when I get cold, like my nose gets like Rudolph red. So I don't know why. But so in the morning, Purity, Rose Water, Burt's Bees Toner, and then my Germany Cream or any drugstore moisturizer. You don't want to use too heavy moisturizer in the morning because, if, especially if you're going to be wearing makeup, your face will get more and more oily typically throughout the day, and if you're wearing a really heavy moisturizer, uh, it'll kind of accelerate that, so you'll feel greasy earlier. Um, if you have really, really dry skin, I mean, I have really, really dry skin, and I still don't put on a heavy moisturizer in the morning, but, I mean, I guess it's kind of a thing, especially if you have dry skin. People think that, I'm kind of going on a tangent, but people will a lot of times think that they have oily skin, but really you have maybe like dry to normal combination skin, but your skin is, you don't put any moisturizer on because you think you're oily, and so you, your skin is overcompensating for that, and so it's producing so many oils, so you feel oily. I don't actually know if that makes sense to you, but that's how it is. So if you don't put any moisturizer on, your skin's going to try and produce a lot of oils because it feels dry, whereas if you just put on like a light moisturizer every day, I think that you would find that maybe you know, you wouldn't feel so oily. I don't know. It's worth a shot. I don't know. Okay, so after that, oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuff. So my makeup. I do my makeup. I do my whatever. I can do a whole video of 
what I do as far as like a normal day to day makeup or what I do is more of a night out makeup, going to work makeup, kind of thing like that. Um, if I'm not going to be wearing like any makeup, a lot of times, I'm going to talk about this, but the Bare Minerals um, Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream I really like because it kind of gives me a tint. I feel like most people's faces are a little bit lighter than the rest of their skin, so I feel like this, I do it in tan number seven, and I feel like it just makes my skin, my face match my rest of my body a little better. I don't know, and it has SPF in it, so in the summer it's great because I will not go, I will not even step outside without SPF on my face. Okay, so that's the morning. I didn't mean to talk about makeup, but it just happened. So, night, I... It's like a whole thing. Like nighttime, I end up like spending ten minutes in the bathroom, just whatever. So I take off my face with, um, or I take off my makeup with face wipes. I just use any drugstore, honestly. There's no rhyme or reason to which one I pick or anything. I mean, there's nothing specific. I just like I don't like the ones that feel super dry. I like the ones that are a little bit more. I don't want to use like like moist. I guess. Ugh. But um, the reason I do that is because I feel like it like takes off, especially because I wear waterproof mascara every day because my eyes just water and I don't know why, but they do. So um, I feel like the more saturated they are with the remover, the better it gets it off. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what I feel. So at night, again, I'm super weird. I don't know why I feel like this, but the Tourmaline Charged Exfoliating Cleanser from Aveda. I started using this back when I was in cos school. At Aveda, and we did like facials on each other. I went through the spa training, and we did facials on each other. And I tried this one, and I fell in love with it because I love feeling. I don't even know why this even matters, but like I, at the end of the day, I feel like I've done so much, like with working out and going to work and whatever, whatever. I just feel like I have to scrub everything off my face because I feel like it has just throughout the day like accumulated on my face, and I don't even know. I don't know why I feel like that, but I always have, so I like to scrub it at night. And the reason I like this is because one's like um, Neutrogena or Clarisol or Clean and Clear, I think it is. I don't know what they're called, but those ones, the beads, I learned this in cos school, that the beads are not perfectly round, so they can make micro little scratches on your face, and they can scar, and they can cause bacteria, and they can like scratch your face. And this is um, jojoba beads. I believe they are. Yeah, it's jojoba beads, so... They, um, they're perfectly round. So when you rub them on your face and you scrub it off, it just goes right over the pores. They don't get stuck in your pores and it's just a lot better for your face. So I use this and I just make my face like barely wet and then I just like scrub every night. Um, and this one is a daily, I'm pretty sure it's a daily exfoliator. You're not supposed to exfoliate with like just any exfoliator every day because exfoliant every day because... Some of them are really harsh. This one feels really gentle, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use it every day. I do, so I don't know. Um, and then, so I do that, and then I'll do two masks. Recently, I've been lazy, and I just kind of have been like mixing them together. I normally do this in my shower, though, because the steam opens up my pores, and um, so I do it like, I do this like three times a week, two times a week sometimes, um, but it's these two masks, and... Um, I just really like them because they, I feel like they do different things. So the Deep Cleansing Herbal Clay Mask I really like because the clay we learned back in school that it like goes deep into your pores and the clay pulls out oils and pulls out impurities, like imperfections, and um, really cleans it out, the clay in this. So I thought that was very interesting. And then the Tourmaline Charge Radiance Mask. I didn't actually mean to buy this, and then I did. And I fell in love with it because I just feel like it gives me such a glow um, after I do it. I, it might be a mindset or something, but I really feel like this really works, like, even just after one use. Um, so normally in my shower, I take these, um, I used to do them separately, like, do the clay one first and get everything out, and then tourmaline to kind of, um, add that glow back. Um, but recently I just, I'm in the shower, and I hang my towel over the door, and I pat my face dry and my hands dry. Um, you want your face to be dry when you put these on. Put them on, uh, like, maybe damp, but not, like, bone dry, um, put these in my hands, the size of a quarter, I don't know, whatever, and I just put them together, put them on, do everything else in my shower, and then rinse it off at the end. It's, like, five to, I don't know how long it says to leave it on, but I leave it on for, like, five, six, seven, eight minutes, however long my shower is. So I do those a couple times a week, and I absolutely love those. 
when I get out of the shower, I will do um, the toner again, the rose water toner, and I'll just let it like sit and completely air dry. In the morning, I kind of like pat it dry because I'm in a hurry, but at night, I'll just let it completely dry. I'll just saturate my face, like totally cover it in this rose water. And I bought these little things from Nature's Market in Holland, Michigan, but um, I think you can get them anywhere, like maybe Sally's or something, and it was only $2.50. Um, and I just bought it because it comes in this huge thing, and I find that if I use those cotton to put it on my face, I go through it so much faster. So I just like to spray it because I feel like I cover my whole face, and it's just good. Um, so I do that, and then this serum that I use, I got this for $1.50 at the same Nature Food. It's like one of those, I can show you. It's like one of those pipette ones, or I, I don't know what they'll call it, but yeah. Um, so I do that. I fill it almost to, I don't know, almost to the top in this almond oil. I think I might start using jojoba oil, um, because I just, I'm starting to not like the smell of almond oil. I've got to be honest. I love how it feels and everything. And I also read online that it's not the, it's not the one that's going to least clog your, clog your pores. Um, there are some that are like even less and I get clogged pores really easily and I always have to like lance it or not lance it on um, like push them out with q-tips just because I it's gross but I don't know I always get clogged pores so I fill it almost up to here with the almond oil I put in a tiny bit like maybe like a I don't know a tiny bit if you can kind of see where like my finger is like that much of vitamin e oil I don't actually have it out I could grab it but it's just like any vitamin E oil. I think I bought it originally like for my cuticles. It's just, it's like a hundred percent like pure vitamin E oil. Uh, and I use it on my cuticles too, but do that. And then I put in, okay. So the thing about essential oils, I put in tea tree oil. The thing about essential oils is you're not supposed to put in too much because it can get really strong. Um, but I think I might do more than you're supposed to, but I wouldn't recommend that, but I do because tea tree oil is like nature's antiseptic and it cleans out your pores so well that it just, I don't know, I feel so clean after I do this and putting it in here and I absolutely love the smell. I can't, like every night I just obsess over the smell of this because I just, I feel like it's so good. Um, so that, so I do this, put it in my hands, rub it on. Um, I also use this serum if I have any, um, like, if I ever get, like, a pimple on my body or something, or if I ever get a clogged pore, um, like, underarms or my legs or anything, because it gets rid of it, I swear, I have struggled with ingrown hairs, um, like, especially, like, around, like, my, like, knees, for some reason, I don't know why, but I, like, had that forever, and I put this oil on it now, and I haven't had one in months, so, um, I really, I really like this serum, and it's super natural, so I like that, um, in the winter, when it was really dry, my skin, I was telling you, like, my skin honestly was, like, flaking off. I felt like a snake. And so I bought this shea butter. I buy these from, like, the, um, what is that store called? I don't know. There's a store that I always go to. It's in Hudsonville. I don't know. I'll say it after this if I remember. Um, but I bought shea butter because I, this is super thick like this stuff you can hardly even rub in your hands because it's that thick um but I was putting it on my face in the winter because I just nothing was helping like I thought that serum would help and I put extra vitamin e oil in it because that helps with like moisturization and um like the collagen everything the elasticity of your skin it helps with everything and I thought that would help and it didn't so I just went to the shea butter and I put the serum on and then the shea butter went to bed and I felt like a greasy gross pig and then I woke up and my skin felt amazing honestly like my skin felt incredible so I was doing that and now I just put it on like my elbows when they get dry and, like my knees and I don't know like any parts of my skin that feel extra dry my feet um I put shea butter on now and sometimes a serum so that's that I put petroleum jelly okay wait first yeah I'll start with this Vaseline so I use Vaseline I don't know why I've always done this, but I put it on my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my lips before I go to bed every night. And I don't know, I feel like it's very, I don't know, since I'm so dry, I feel like if my skin is really dry, my the hair follicles aren't going to, um, like, be as healthy as they should. So Vaseline has always been the thing that I've used just to, my lips feel super soft. I scrub my lips with um, my toothbrush before I go to bed, and I put Vaseline on every night, and 
they have always felt really good. So I don't know, that's kind of a little trick I've always done. And I use, so I, I had Invisaligns way back when. Um, and honestly, I hated them back then, but I'm grateful I had of them because now I have um, like little retainers left over from them. And I put this Dr. George's Dental White in it. I do this um, probably just for like a shower, like 10, 15 minutes. Um, if you take like a 30 minute shower, maybe don't do, don't do it for the whole time. But I found that if I do it much longer, I can get kind of sensitive. So I use this sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I just want that little kick of, um, whiteness, I put, um, I just put the equal amount of this and toothpaste and brush my teeth just like really hard. And I just feel like I can like scrub it in there and good to go for the day. Um, these syringes I get from my dentist. So I should mention these because I don't want to just lie about my teeth whitening. I use these. Um, it's 15% peroxide. And I use these in my trays probably now. When I got them, I did them like every night for like a week. And then I did them like once a week. Now I do them like twice a month, three times a month. If I have an event or if I'm doing anything like special. I use this and I put like a little tiny drop in each of my little teeth pockets I don't know in my retainers and then I sleep with them and I take them out and I'm fine I don't drink any like red things that day because your teeth will stain and like once I did it and I did blue Listerine because I'm like obsessed with the taste of Listerine and um my teeth almost like had a hint of blue it could have been just like my mind playing tricks on me but I feel like just be really careful if you do teeth whitening drinking anything with color in it like dark color in it because they'll stain um, and also what I was going to talk about for my eyes, if I don't do the Vaseline, I really started liking, my friend gave me this from her salon and it's Bio Elements Sleepwear for Eyes. Super weird. It feels like, um, how do I even describe it? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it feels like, gl not glue. I don't know. It's super weird. It's super like gel, um, I don't know. It's weird, but I really like the feeling of it. And when I wake up, my eyes feel super, super moisturized. And when I put on my makeup in the morning, they just feel so good. So I really, really um, love those. This right here, Carmex, is my favorite probably product of all these things. I put Carmex on probably like 20 times a day. I have them in my purse. I have them in my gym bag. I have them in my car. I have them in my everything under my pillow I have them everywhere so that's that I just wanted to answer some questions because I get a lot of questions about um and I posted on Facebook kind of like the whole thing so if you need to see it written out I put it on there but I just kind of wanted to explain you explain it to you and show you because I feel like skincare is a really important thing and I feel like going to school it enlightened me so much into this world of skincare that I never knew about and sometimes it's just that you want to take care of your skin but you don't know what products um, I have really dry skin, so if you have really oily skin, I don't know that I would recommend these products to you solely because I just feel like it, you know, they don't, they obviously don't work for everyone. Um, I feel like the things that probably would are like the toners, um, and even if you do have oily skin, just moisturize at night because to prevent wrinkles, oh my gosh, it is so important to moisturize. Um, wearing SPF, wear a baseball hat, protect your skin. Um, don't go tanning. <laughs> All of my friends tan and it makes me so nervous because it's just, I, I'm such like a skin care pansy. So that is my skin care info video and I can do more on products I use as far as makeup, as far as I use as body care. Um, I can do whatever you guys else want to see. Um, but I just thought I'd give you this little info. So thanks for watching and let me know what you want to see next.